Arjuna said, How would you describe the man whose wisdom is steadfast, Krishna? How does the wise man speak? How does he sit, stand, walk? The blessed Lord said, When a man gives up all desires that emerge from the mind and rests contented in the self, by the self, he is called a man of firm wisdom. He whose mind is untroubled by any misfortune, whose craving for pleasures has disappeared, who is free from greed, fear, anger, who is unattached to all things, who neither grieves nor rejoices if good or bad things happen, that man is a man of firm wisdom. Having drawn back all his senses from the objects of sense, as a tortoise draws back into his shell, that man is a man of firm wisdom. Sense objects fade for the abstinent, yet the craving for them continues. But even the craving vanishes for someone who has seen the truth. At first, although he continually tries to subdue them, the turbulent senses tear at his mind and violently carry it away. Restraining the senses, disciplined, he should focus his whole mind on me. When the senses are in his control, that man is a man of firm wisdom. If a man keeps dwelling on sense objects, attachment to them arises. From attachment, desires flare up. From desire, anger is born. From anger, confusion follows. From confusion, weakness of memory. Weak memory, weak understanding. Weak understanding, ruin. But the man who is self-controlled, who meets the objects of the senses with neither craving nor aversion, will attain serenity at last. In serenity, all his sorrows disappear at once, forever. When his heart has become serene, his understanding is steadfast. The undisciplined have no wisdom, no one-pointed concentration. With no concentration, no peace. With no peace, where can joy be? constantly runs after the wandering senses. It drives away wisdom, like the wind blowing a ship off course. And so, Arjuna, when someone is able to withdraw his senses from every object of sensation, that man is a man of firm wisdom. In the night of all beings, the wise man sees only the radiance of the self. But the sense world, where all beings wake, for him is as dark as night. The man whom desires enter as rivers flow into the sea, filled yet always unmoving, that man finds perfect peace. Abandoning all desires, acting without craving, free from all thoughts of I and mine, that man finds utter peace. 
This is the divine state, Arjuna. Absorbed in it, everywhere, always. Even at the moment of death, he vanishes into God's bliss.